Are we recording right now? Yes, we are. All right. Welcome, everyone. We're trying something brand new. We're doing a we're doing a let's play. I know they're oh, not super yeah. popular. Welcome to Game Grump. I mean, <laughs> hey, this is this is hey, uh, I'm Grump. Four Six Nine Productions of the Young Kings Podcast. Yeah, and we, we're Game Grumps. We, we some Kang. <laughs> we some Kangs here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. So, I'll, so down to the thumbnail, I will rip off Game Grumps' whole shit. <laughs> so, are you Aaron and I'm the other guy, or, or am I Aaron and you the, and you're the other know. guy? Oh no, I feel like I have to be Aaron because I'm going to get angrier during okay. this. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> but, all right, all right, and I'm happy and joyful, and but, mostly going to say sex jokes. I know that. I know that. Um, <laughs> He's reading Alice through the. I think this is going to show this during the actual story, so you can just, or maybe not. I don't know, but. <clears throat> I know Let's Plays aren't super popular, but I've wanted to do one forever. Mm -hmm. A little backstory behind this. Uh, we're playing a game that is near and dear to my heart. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Epic Mickey games. Jason and I will be playing through both the first and the second one. Yes. Second one at some point, but we gotta start with the first one so you can understand the complicated plot of the second yes, one. Yes, it's the lore it, of it does the Disneyverse. <clears throat> Or the Disney multiverse. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first games, aside from Smash Brothers, that I stalked upon hearing about it. Like uh -huh. once, the, once that concept art got leaked, I was hooked. Yeah, same here. Because I remember that concept art leaking, you know, back in the day, and people were just making such a big deal about it. It was like yep. this. It was really gross, cool. <laughs> like just crazy looking stuff, and the game. It's okay. <laughs> didn't really look like that. No. But that's the point of concept art, though. Even Warren right. Spector said that. Yeah, but like that concept art was too dope. It was it was too good. It was just too good. Yeah, and I think that's the reason why a lot some video games like necessarily don't work or fail because of you know expectations, especially like when you have some like a Half Life or uh, you know a game that just takes a long time and you mm -hmm. have these expectations and it doesn't immediately meet everything those of those expectations right you know people just be like oh this wasn't what we were promised you know like cyberpunk or like right. no man's sky mm -hmm. speaking of what we were promised you peep that alice in wonderland level that is not in this game <laughs> see there we go deep you, cuts here you can unlock some you can unlock some concept art of it in this uh -huh. but no i stalked this game when i first heard about it uh -huh. and i was like relentless like i was always looking for news i was just a little right. little high school kid super excited about a disney game that was super dark that was a kingdom um, hearts yeah because <laughs> uh, cause fuck kingdom hearts <laughs> you know it, it... sore's a bitch <laughs> we're starting but... with the, with the uh, uh -huh. with the deep <laughs> with the uh with the hard the hard takes already oh my god but no. Okay. I, I do want to ask you about so Joe, what is it about Kingdom Hearts that you hate? Just get the anime shit out of Disney. You it does just, not like you it don't you just don't it's so like melodramatic. The, the, you and don't like dumb. the Final Fantasy part. I do not. I do okay. not care for it. That's and fair. also I feel like the actual Disney aspect gets less and less with every iteration of it. Uh-huh. It does not like I feel like the Disney in it is completely inconsequential. Uh-huh. Um, meanwhile, this game is, like, full Disney. It really brings from the classic era. Now, I do have... I have numerous problems with this game. Of course. Um, but I do have a soft spot for it because of how much, I guess, nostalgia of just being into it I was. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't even care about the camera when I first played about this, but that camera is awful. <laughs> but... But Warren Inspector says, fuck you. <laughs> this camera's great. You know what? He kind of did say that. <laughs> I mean, he really Warren did. Warren Spector, you know, I hear he was a legend in the gaming industry, but then uh, apparently this game drove him fucking insane because... <laughs> He like he he became obsessed, and he made a bunch of false promises. And oh, my disappointment started because I actually bought the collector's edition when this game came out. Oh uh, yeah. And um, I also got a they had a really awesome Wii remote charger uh -huh. that you could get for this game, where uh, the blood as we see here is like holding the Wii remote, and right. Mickey's like on it, like about to face off against him. It was big. It was like as big as this uh, microphone here. Oh, okay. Um, and like he would light, and his face would light up the different colors oh, uh, depending on if it was charged or not. Oh, but uh, cool. here's the thing: it worked once. 
<laughs> if there, well, if there's nothing that symbolizes what yeah. this game is, is that here's all this promise and, and all this greatness and no. And no. No, Much th like this life. game does deliver on a few aspects, but I feel like they could have uh -huh. just they could have done more. They just didn't have the balls for it. Oh uh, well, well, we'll see you right now playing Epic but Mickey. Probably one of my big my biggest disappointment was the collector's edition because uh -huh. it came with, um, it came with a cool Mickey figurine, yes. which is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. uh, all new games. We're gonna start one, and. Uh, <clears throat> It came with... Like, look at that art. That art looks so good. It's pretty nice art. Um, it came with a DVD. A behind-the-scenes DVD. And oh, that okay. sounded pretty cool to me. Yeah. Um, but, like, it was just all the videos they released on YouTube. Of, oh, like, my interviews. God. That's, really? that's just all it was. Uh, in DVD form. They did have a... Um, like, a remastered, like, three Mickey cartoons on it. Uh-huh. Uh, which... At the time it came out, was one of the few like HD versions of those old cartoons you could get. But now we have Disney Plus. Now we got Disney Plus. We got Blu-rays. Yes. All that like Blu-rays are much more commonplace now than they were when this came out. This game's ten years old now. Right. Yeah. Like th this year, I believe, is its ten-year anniversary. Mm-hmm. Um. But. So real quick. <clears throat> Yeah. We've got this intro here where Mickey is, um, there's the mad doctor there. He's in one cartoon. Right. And here's, uh, and he, he's also one of my problems with the game. Oh, please is, explain, um, Joe. This dude just can't carry a whole game by himself. <laughs> and it is, it is crazy because you literally have a library of all these great Disney villains. Yeah. But because you wanted, you know, it to be like forgotten characters, like, Hey, here's this totally random character from one cartoon, you know. Well, now that that's not a problem. Uh -huh. He's been in a video game before, actually. Uh -huh. I have a I have a Super Nintendo game where he's a yep. boss. Uh huh. Um, and that that's not an issue. My issue is not that he's in the game, and that he's a villain. Yeah. Um, and I don't like that the I, and I like that the blot here is a villain. Yeah, I, lo the, I love the Phantom Blot. Because the Blot's from the comics. Yes, he is. Um, and he's so usually is... like a guy in a hoodie. But I yeah. like that he's like this, this monster yeah, of Mickey's mon making. Yeah, exactly. He's, um... <clears throat> and, then, and then you got the Mad Doctor here, which is one cartoon. Right. 1933. Of course. Because I'm an animation nerd. Of course. Um, but here's the thing. is like you have this library of tons of forgotten villains. Like, you can easily put... Like, in the comics alone, there are oh, so many just yeah. random characters uh, that you can put in there. Um, or characters from cartoons, but it basically just boils down to some made-up characters and, you know, Mad Doctor and the Blot here. Yeah. Um, looks like now we're getting into gameplay territory. Oh, yeah, and here's one of my favorite characters, Gremlin Gus. Of the Gremlins, and I know you know everything about the Gremlins, Joe. Do you want me to brief brief the audience? Yes, because I mean, um, Gremlins is I'm a rolled doll book. Play. What's up? It's a rolled doll book. Yep. A uh, guy who made uh, Willy Wonka. Uh huh. And um, Matilda and others. Mm -hmm. Um, and they were gonna make a movie with Disney about these Gremlins that lived over the skies of London during World War II, and basically the Nazis bombed London. Uh -huh. And um, and then the Gremlins decided that we're going to fight Nazis, and it just never happened because uh, it was wartime and no one wanted a, m or it was post-war and no <laughs> yeah. one wanted a war movie after the war just ended, so it got canned. And I do like the Gremlins' use in this game as a an example of a character that never actually happened. Yeah. Um. However, I do think that they relied too much on the Gremlins. Uh huh. <laughs> His voice comes from the Wii mode. I know, it actually surprised me. I was like, what is happening? Alright, one more stand move. Oh yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. So, anyway, now that we've actually started gameplay, I guess I'm gonna let the audience know what's going on here. So, um... I was a fan of Game Grumps, once upon a time. <laughs> I'm not I think really everybody now. everybody was. Um, I still like Danny. I don't really care for Aaron too much, to be, yeah. on to be honest. But the thing is, is that... Um, 
Okay. I got ra randomly um, recommended a bunch of videos on YouTube of people that say, I don't like the Game Grumps anymore, here's why. Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of them pretty much said that they didn't like how it kind of has gone away from just two friends sitting on the couch playing a game. Yeah. Um, where they pretty much just talk, they don't, they don't talk about, like, too much stuff that's interesting anymore or anything like that. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Let's do that again. Let's let's bring that back. Uh -huh. um, also, um, one of the first Let's Players I ever watched, his name is Jethro Tex. I think he's like a Pokemon YouTuber now. Uh -huh. But way back in the day, I first discovered him, and he did a Let's Play of Epic Mickey. And since then, you know, I just kind of wanted to do a Let's Play. Right. So we're going to do a Let's Play of Epic Mickey 1 and 2, and now that I have a capture device, we'll probably play some more games. Oh, you right. did not even explore that area. No, I'm, I'm, I'm straight to it. I'm straight right. to it. I'm just straight to it. Um, but also how we're doing this is because one thing I don't like on Game Grumps and never have is if it's a one-player game, just mm -hmm. one of them is going to hog the controller the entire time. Yeah. So Jason and I are going to be playing through this by uh, switching off. So I'm letting Jason play first, so Jason's actually playing right now, uh, to get him through the tutorial so he knows how everything, everything goes. Yeah. And then... And then I'll switch over for the first, I guess, like, gameplay portion of it, mm -hmm. for reals. And then every section will kind of swap off, so, uh, no one's too bored for too long. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is that this game really influences the choice and consequence, um... Yeah. ...type of thing. Okay, I'm about to practice. So... Hold the Z button to use the center, and the B button to... You know, there was a treasure in that room you unlocked. <laughs> mm. You were just like, no. 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 Alright. Because we're just, we're just playing. We're, we're, we're just getting straight to the meat. Alright. Like, what is the meat? Alright. Well, the other thing... You're just going to yeah, have to hold it a little... You, you got to hold it a little lower. Okay. Actually, if I back up a little bit. There, there you go. go. Uh, but the other thing is because choice and consequence is a huge part of this game. You can yep. paint things, and that's, like, technically the good one. Or you can thin things out. That's the bad one. Um, you can create or destroy. Exactly. And uh, I've decided that Jason is going to make every actual choice we have to make mm -hmm. uh, in this game. That's actually consequential. Yeah. And uh, because I've, I've played this game before. You have not. And it's going to be fun that way. Yeah. So if Jason decides, you know what, let's help this guy out. We're going to help this guy out. If he decides we're not going to, then... Uh, and like, like fuck this dude. Yeah. Then uh, we're gonna screw him over. I think uh, for this tutorial you have to paint it. Gotcha. You'll get you'll get your choice, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what I like about it so far is that it does because I know that the game was built for the Wii. Like I know they yeah. of course ported it over uh, eventually. Um, and then the, the first one is the first one's only we. Okay. The second, the second, second one was for it. everything. <laughs> yeah. And do you think that was a, a big mistake? Um, on that part. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a mistake to put the second one on everything. I think it was a big mistake to um, not port the first one over to everything if you were going to do the second one. Uh -huh. um, they did the same thing with a little game called Diblob, if you're familiar. Yeah. The first one. Wow, that's a reach. <laughs> that I was like... I love Diblob. We'll play that sometime, I think. Uh -huh. Um, but like that game, the first one was a Wii exclusive, and then the second one was for everything. Uh huh. Um, okay. including the Wii and the Wii U, I believe, and uh, that was also I for Epic Mickey Two. Uh, Epic Mickey Two was also uh, Wii and Wii U. Uh -huh. And uh, somehow the Wii U version is worse. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. About yeah, it. we've we've tried we've tried Epic Mickey two off camera. We're gonna go back to it, but we had an awful co op time. But imagine that frame rate drop during co op, but yeah. during single player. <laughs> yeah. That that's apparently the Wii U version. So we'll be playing the Wii one. Also, we forgot to talk about Oswald! Oh, we got plenty of time to talk about Oswald. We'll just wait on him. <laughs> <laughs> that um, was the thing that got me excited about the game. Yeah, the they fact... traded a sportscaster for him. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, don't you love when big corporations do that? Oh, man, it's great. 
Honestly, I think that was really fair. It was like, yeah, you can have our famous sportscaster Caster. that you really like, so but can, uh, can you can can we have the rights to our original cartoon back? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't used them since like the '30s, so it's cool. Yeah. Um, cutscene's got no voice acting, but whatever. Actually, it's sort of like that. It's very uh, Banjo Kazooie. Mm -hmm. Um, but we've been talking, so let me just uh give you guys the plot <laughs> yeah in case in case you missed it um mickey really messed up messed yeah. around with things he wasn't supposed to and now he's been sucked into the world the wizard from fantasia created for all Yen sorts of Sid. forgotten things yep yen Sid, it's disney backwards disney backwards baby yeah he also had a really epic scene in kingdom hearts 3 yeah but we ain't going to talk about that oh <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Aww running joke just gonna cut you off every time you mention Kingdom Hearts oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh okay 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 